Well, that was creepy. From IFC Midnight and Shudder, Watcher is just fantastic. The movie stars Micah Monroe, who moves to Bucharest with her husband, only not speaking the language, leaves her isolated most of the time, and with not that many friends. Okay, well, except for maybe the creepy guy across the street who keeps staring into her window and then following her all over town. When decapitated bodies keep turning up, it appears there's a serial killer in the city, so she spends a lot of the film wondering, is this guy the killer, or is he just some random creep? There are intense-ass sequences in it, from a part in the grocery store where you keep seeing him turn up in the background, or in the movie theater that's almost like a scarier version of the Kentucky Fried movie feel-around scene. One thing this movie does incredibly well is sound. They do a lot to really add to these sequences, whether it's the knocking at the door, the moody musical score, or things like heavy breathing, like the guy breathing on her neck. The cast is also excellent. We rewatched The Guest recently, and I was just thinking that it felt like it'd been a while since I'd seen Micah Monroe in something. Last one I saw was maybe Greta or Honey Boy. She is great in this. You really feel for this character and her frustration in trying to convince anyone that someone is following her, especially her damn husband. He's one of those characters that isn't really trying to be an asshole, but is, as he keeps wanting to rationalize everything she's saying. Like, okay, there's a time to be rational, and then other times it's like, alright, well, there is a serial killer lurking around, so maybe I should take this seriously. She does also make a friend with her neighbor, Madalena Adea, who gives a very scene-stealing performance. I like their friendship on screen, and she's only in it a few times, but she really makes the most of it. The dude across the street is played by Bern Gorman, and he is chilling. I've recently been watching him on the series The Offer, which is excellent, and he's great in it too. And here, this feels like the part he was born to play, because whether he's in the background or not saying anything, he can still be terrifying. And you go through a lot of it wondering, is he actually the killer, or is he just weird? Is that a severed head in his bag, or is it just some lettuce or something? It isn't completely perfect. They do some familiar things like fake out dream sequence. And it also does kind of just jump into climax mode near the end, but it's a good climax, and the payoff is really solid. Between the acting, the editing, the sound, the cinematography, this is an excellent thriller. It takes elements of a stalker or serial killer film and mixes it in with stuff like The Tenant or Rear Window. It really does work. I'll give the movie an A-. minus. It is from Shudder, so I'm sure it'll be on their streaming service soon, but it is playing in theaters, and I'd highly recommend checking it out there. Well, this video is hours shorter than my recent Cinema Snob. Check out that episode on 1982 and film, and we'll have reviews coming up for Lightyear and Vikram as well, so we'll see you then.